We have all been there before. You start to panic because you cannot for the life of you remember where you placed your iPhone. You begin to frantically search and you only realize that it is nowhere to be found. So that was me this past holiday break and let me tell you that sense of panic is only heightened when you are in a foreign country and don't speak the local language. But with that, I will give you five tips that will help you the next time you lose or misplace your iPhone. Let's get started. What is going on everyone? It is Mike from tech247.tv bringing you the best in unboxing and product reviews so you can make informed buying decisions. Here on this channel, we do the analysis of the various bits and bytes that transcend technology only to find their way into your pocket. So if you like tips and tutorial videos like this one, you should consider subscribing. We do this every week and I think you are gonna like it. Today I thought we'd do a little bit different of a video and focus on some iOS tips that will help you next time your phone goes missing or lost. So as I talked about in the beginning of the video, I was recently uh, out of town over the New Year's holiday in Mexico and my iPhone XR <laughs> grew legs and kind of walked away. Thankfully I was able to quickly find and recover my missing phone. Before we get into the iOS tips, I wanna give a quick update on the three part giveaway that is currently going on as we celebrate the first 100 subscribers on tech247.tv. So we wrapped up the first giveaway, which is for the Apple Park Tea yesterday, announced the winner on over on Twitter and Instagram. So if you're not following us, make sure you are doing so there because that is where we're gonna announce the next winner. And that is gonna be for the Apple Animoji Kaleidoscope shirt in addition to something else that is sure to make you feel charged up. Stick around to the end of the video for details how to enter and win the next giveaway. Now onto the iOS tips. This probably goes without saying, but in order to use Find My iPhone, you need to make sure that the feature is enabled on all your devices. I mean, come on. This includes your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Mac. You can confirm it's enabled by navigating on your iPhone or iPad to settings, tapping on your name, going to iCloud account, and followed there by Find My iPhone. You're gonna find two switches here. The first switch enables Find My iPhone and the second switch enables the device to communicate its last position or location when the battery reaches a critically low point when it's just about to die. If you signed up for theft and loss protection plan through Apple Care Plus, you must have Find My iPhone enabled at the time of loss in order to file a claim. I will put a link to Apple support article in the video description below. For the second tip, we can locate any missing iPhone using a web browser on a Mac or PC. First, you'll navigate to iCloud.com and authenticate with your credentials. If you're a member of an iCloud account that's using family sharing, any individual from that family can enter their credentials as well. Once you've logged into iCloud.com, choose Find iPhone from the bottom row of icons. After a moment, you're presented with a map that shows the location for your devices. If you have more than one device, or if you want to find a family member's device, click on the top banner that says All Devices and you'll be able to choose from the list of available. Now that you've selected the device, let's play a sound and your iPhone will play an audible alert that escalates in volume for up to two minutes. Next, we can remotely lock the device if it's truly lost. You'll click Lost Mode which prompts you to enter a callback number and personalized message that will display on the device if found. The third and final option here is that you can remotely wipe your device. Now this is a complete wipe which means you will lose all ability to track it after it's been wiped. If the device is later recovered, you'll be able to restore your device from a backup, either from iCloud or local, or you can set it up as new. If you own a pair of AirPods or even a pair of Powerbeat 3s, the headphones will appear in the list as well. This means that you can ping these devices with an audible alert to locate them. I happen to use this feature one day when my AirPod happened to fall out of my ear while walking outside on a snowy day. Trying to find a white AirPod against white snow is maddening, but thankfully it worked out well and I found the missing AirPod. Placing a device in loss mode will temporarily suspend Apple Pay transactions on the device. This means that if someone has your device and knew your password or even had their biometrics tied to your device, they could not use Apple Pay. If the device is recovered and loss mode is disabled, you'll need to enter your Apple ID credentials to restore Apple Pay as it's not automatically performed. Find your lost device using another iPhone or iPad. Any device that's running iOS 12 or later, there's going to be a shortcut built into search or you can use the iOS app. And again, if you have family sharing enabled, you can use a family member's iOS device to locate your own. 
Even though there isn't a Find iPhone app on the Apple TV and the interface is vastly different, Siri voice functions are generally the same and include Ping My iPhone, Find My AirPods, Find My Apple Watch. This goes the same for HomePod and Apple Watch as well as the same audible commands will allow you to find a lost or missing iOS device using your voice with Siri. It's worth noting that you cannot remotely lock or wipe your device using the HomePod, Apple TV, or even your Apple Watch, and you will still need to log into their iCloud.com on your computer or through the iOS app to perform either of these functions. Now on to the details for the giveaway. The second giveaway starts today and is for the Apple and Emoji Kaleidoscope shirt that comes from the company store at Infinite Loop in Cupertino. And as an added bonus, the winner will also get a wireless Qi charging pad from Mophie. Hashtag not sponsored. The Mophie wireless charging pad is capable of delivering seven and a half watts of power to your phone, which means it will charge your phone 25% faster than the standard 5 watt wall charger that comes with your iPhone. All the details, including how to register for the giveaway, can be found by in the video description below or by visiting the link that you see here on your screen. The giveaway runs through Sunday, January 19th, and we're going to announce the winner on Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you are following us there. And with that, we're gonna wrap up the video today. I wanna to thank each and every one of you for going ahead and helping the channel grow. Hit like, hit subscribe, consider sharing this video with someone who constantly loses their phone, because they need it. We'll talk in the next one.